uh, fantastic fashion on the streets. Uh, you've got great music, uh, nightlife. Uh, you've got amazing sunsets. There's just so much. You know, uh, just constant photos, basically, to go out and take. Uh, it's not like there's a you know, one building really that inspires me every day. It's just the city in general. Uh, it's constantly inspiring me in, in various ways and allowing me to do different things and just play with pictures basically. This year I'm undertaking a project involving six photographers taking pictures every day of the year to, cap to capture the Capital Culture Year. Um, it's a tricky project because you know, we've got to be out constantly every single day taking pictures every day, trying to find new things to photograph and to try and capture the whole year. You know, the, sort of the first month you can just go out and you take all the safety pictures of uh, the Iron Men at Crosby and the Albert Dock and the Lila buildings and then it's kind of like you get to the second month and you realise well you can't just fill the book with the same old pictures so we really kind of have to dig deep and find out about all of the little events that are happening around the city. so many different things happening. You know, I can go out and I can see um, all the different sort of trendy people on Bowl Street and they always look cool and always wearing different clothes and it's great to kind of do that street portrait here. Um, and then again you can just go out and you can find strange things happening around the city and take pictures of them. Um, so I think what takes me there is just knowing that I'll be able to get a good photo, you know, there'll, there'll be something there to photograph, um, even if I don't know what it is, you know, we'll just go off there for a walk or something. Um, so it's nice just to be there and to take pictures. I did my exhibition because I wanted to kind of give something back in a way. Um, I felt that a lot of the events happening this year were kind of uh, well, not a lot, but a lot, there are some events happening, I think, in the, the culture year, and uh, it seems kind of like you have to know a bit about it to go along and perhaps understand the artwork and why the artist did certain things. And um, I just wanted to share a little pull off, basically. That's right, that's right. I, I, I like the, the, the way this guy is so kind of aggressive and pointing, you know what I mean? But the police, there's no emotion off the police. You know what yeah, I mean? They're yeah. just a straight line. I mean, we know what, we know what it is. And I think if you didn't know that evening, you'd still be dead really yeah. drawn to this and think, yeah. what are they demonstrating against? Yeah, that's right. I just wanted people to come along and go, oh wow, that's amazing, you know. I didn't know Liverpool looked this good, or they just want to see some nice pictures of where they live, like Sefton Park, and um, it was a simple thing, really. Just wanted to show Liverpool off. I think Liverpool's a great city of culture. A lot of people kind of um, argue whether it is a, a capital or cultural or not, and in, in my professional opinion, as a, a photographer, um, I'd say it definitely is. You know, from the start of the year, it's just changed completely. You know, I've been doing sort of documenting Liverpool on a weekly basis for the past few years, really. and um, you know, this year, just from January 1st, it's Kind of stepped up a gear. You know, there's been more events. It seems like almost every other day now. There's some uh, cultural event taking place, you know, like T 
today was, um, was a, a gallery event went on tonight. It was a roller disco. It was a, uh, it was a Paul McCartney concert as well at the cathedral. Um, Liverpool means a lot of things in a way. Um, I've got family there. I've been going there all my life. Um, it's a place that I studied. I did software engineering there. Um, and it's also a place that has been growing over the past five years as my photography seems to be growing. Um, so I think it just means... I mean, I don't live there per se, but I think it's home in a way for a lot of reasons. It's, without Liverpool, you know, if I just lived off in the country somewhere, I probably wouldn't be a photographer. I wouldn't have that daily inspiration to go out and to take pictures. Um, so I think it's... I guess just my inspiration in a way. You know, I could go to Chester, it's closer and easier to, to get to, there's no tunnel fees, but it's just not as nice a city.